Good evening, everyone. This is Jonathan J. Dog Letterman, and you're tuned in to the Anything Bucket on WRPBI TV. Tonight in our studio, we have a gentleman that is a speaker, a certified life coach, a writer, a spiritual counselor, helping you to make the mind body soul connection while enhancing your personal and professional life. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the Anything Bucket, Mark Seedler, to the Anything Bucket. Thank you, Jonathan. And Mark, we're very excited to have you. Uh, we connected via Facebook, and uh, we share a lot of common interests, and that is helping other people to excel. As you notice on my wrist, it's the bracelet, Hope, and it's from the American Cancer Society Relay for Life. So it's a way to, again, remind me, help other people excel. And that's what we're here to do tonight. And if you can share with the viewers just a little bit about who you are and uh, what you do. Sure, sure. Thank you, Jonathan. I am a dream builder coach. What I do is I help people envision a life they would really love to live. And then I help them clear out any of the blocks from the past that are in their way and get the support they need to actually bring those visions into reality. And that's the whole idea. I, I remember being involved in the Junior Chamber of Commerce, and one year our state president had a theme, Turning Dreams into Reality. Mm-hmm. And it was so amazing when you started to write down what you wanted to do, mm-hmm. and you put the action steps down, and you started taking action, and you started seeing, wow, I'm accomplishing all this good stuff. <laughs> And I tell everybody, I was a skeptic at first about writing down goals, about writing down what I'm grateful for. And now I became a believer because I found out it works. It does. <laughs> and I was reading about the, your vision workshop that you, you present. I was very in, intrigued by that. Um, you know, you talk about three keys to accountability and success. And if you could share some of the nuggets that somebody would get if they purchased your CD or if they enrolled in the teleseminar or came to see you live. Yeah, absolutely. The, I'd say the biggest thing is... People don't know how to create a vision that really enlivens them. Most of us are living a life where we're living somebody else's creation of what we're supposed to be doing. And there's just no life in that. So the first thing we do is we create a vision that the person is just lit up by. When they envision that life, it's like, wow, I can't believe how incredible this is. In fact, one of the techniques we use is to actually go three years into the future and to look back and to say, wow, it's been three years now that I've been, and then you create the life that you really want to have. And usually it involves the areas of health, relationships, time and money, and vocation. And so the first thing is it has to be energetic. It has to just completely resonate with who we are. And that is so true. I know myself as uh, not only being a TV show host, a radio show host known as the positive broadcaster, I do public address announcing. And everybody says, how did you get into public address announcing? And it was quite by accident. I uh, knew I had this great voice. And I picked up a microphone one, one day as I was interviewing uh, somebody for uh, a newspaper that I worked for at the time. And they asked me, well, what are you doing on a certain day? And then I started doing basketball as a public address announcer. Mm-hmm. And now I started envisioning myself in different places, and I hear about games going on. So the first thing I do, I said, man, it would be great to be in the press box for that lingerie football league game. And what did I do? Pick up the phone, call the lingerie football league people, did an audition on the phone, and the next thing we knew, I was doing a Miami Caliente uh, game. So that's a technique that I've used is to basically just put it out there. And I'd like to get your thoughts about techniques you can use to put it out there to manifest it and bring it to life. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd say the number one technique is exactly what I'm doing right now. I saw a message from you on Facebook offering to do a television segment, and I was like, oh, this is the perfect way for me to get my message out there. So here I am. (laughs) Yeah, but that's it, taking advantage of the opportunities. It's taking action. So many times we sit there, and you've probably seen it in your practice with some of your clients Mm -hmm. that come in, and they're like this, Mark, I I don't know, you know, what what if I get to be too famous? What if I make too much money? What what happens if I if I give it a try but it doesn't work out? And they're they're timid and they're cringing, Mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you say, Well, let me tell you, fear can paralyze you or it can liberate you. Mm -hmm. You can forget everything and run. Or you can face everything and rise. Mm-hmm. 
And what would be a technique you would give to somebody to overcome the fear that they're going back into, what if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? What if they don't like me? You know, I don't know that it would so much be a technique, but it would more just be the understanding that if you really feel you've got something to bring to the world, there's no choice but to get out there. And there's also the, the understanding that it really doesn't matter what somebody thinks of you. All that matters really is what you're about and what you're doing in the world. And it's funny that you brought this up because when I first saw your advertisement looking for people, my, my initial reaction was, uh-oh, I'm not sure I'm good enough. <laughs> so I had to process that briefly and then I said, okay, I'm going for it because I just feel so strongly about my message that I wanted to get it out into the world. And what's great about that, Mark, is that you did uh, take the opportunity to come into the studio mm-hmm. uh, and see the value and understand that you are good enough. Um, mm-hmm. Richard Branson always tells people, he says, it doesn't matter if you're ready or not. Do it anyway. Right. Uh, you know, do it when you're not ready. Mm-hmm. Because what happens is if we start to talk to ourselves, that self-doubt comes in, mm-hmm. oh, I'm not good enough. And one of the things I started to think of was uh, the uh, character on uh, Saturday Night Live. As you said that, I'm good enough, and gosh darn it, people like me. <laughs> and I'd like to get your thoughts on that about the utilization of affirmations and how they can help people go from being stuck to unstoppable. Well, we may use the word affirmation a little differently because in general, affirmations is not something I use because for me, it's kind of like putting lipstick on a pig. If you've got something blocking you, affirmations on top of it may not work. So what I like to do is I like to go to the core of what's actually blocking. Go to the root of the fear. And actually I have many, many techniques that you can just clear that so easily. And then once that's clear, the affirmations almost aren't even necessary. Right. It's blocking what's holding you back, be it fear, Mm -hmm. be it low Mm self-esteem, whatever that case is. And working with you, you can help people get through that. So again, they can create the life that they want, not the life that somebody else wants them to lead. If you could uh, share with the viewers how they can connect with you and uh, any other positive message that you would like to deliver. Sure, sure. The best way to connect with me would be on my website, which is markseedler.com. That's M-A-R-K-S-I-E-D-L-E-R. And um, there's some material there that would uh, be a good place to start. And you can also sign up for a vision workshop where you can get a taste of creating that life that you'd really love to live and what that would be like for you. And we want to thank Mark for being here on the Anything Bucket and sharing with us some insight. Remember, if it's in sight, it's in flight. If it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So put it in sight and soar high because you are great and you deserve greatness in your life.